I've sunk an enemy destroyer. Sailing through the mist comes the Druid's call. Daring in the depths where the mighty fall. Swift as the wind, he strikes with grace. Enemies in sight, now it's a race. Druid on the sea, ruler of the wave. Charging through the storm, brave and oh so brave. Team is Ripper here. Hope you guys are doing fantastic today. Got a fun video with the new mode, alternative mode that uh, just got released. I guess it's alternative or random mode, but it's, it's really, really fun and enjoyable. You guys got to take a look at it before we begin. Like, subscribe, blah, blah, blah. below. Appreciate all the support at 4,000 subs. Do another premium giveaway. And I thank, and thank you guys enough for building a great community, making this a better place to learn, talk, build friends, and learn something at the same time. So, yeah, again, if you see value in this video, like uh, the, at the bottom and leave a comment, and uh, we'll be do to get better. So, man, this is so much fun. I have to say, especially in the ships that are one of my favorite, like the Druid, where it this thing just excels and shines in the mode that um, I really do uh, enjoy playing. Yeah, especially this ship is one of my favorite uh, destroyers. Again, destroy, you can do all types of things. Uh, you know, secondary brawling uh, battleships. You can do uh, secondary cruisers or whatever you want to do. Cruisers that are just full focus on DPM lighthouse builds. But it, I, I really do enjoy it. And TLDR Wargaming, this mode, I hope you keep it and make it a permanent thing in the game because it really encourages pushing. None of this sit in the back kind of play style. And look right here, Kit Kitakami moving right off the bat. And look at that Citadel and Kitakami right in front. And it's just these engagements that it, this mode produces is so, so fun right here. And me as a destroyer, I'm just uh, capitalizing on it. Look at that, picking the um, Citadel uh, section of the Kitakami right there. And let's see if we can blast this guy out of oblivion. And boom, splash one, there he goes. And that is why this game mode is so much fun. It, it opens up these situations where people are not just running around hiding and it's really this up close kind of like a brawl mode and it's so so enjoyable notice where i'm at right now um in the druid right here focused on the you know obviously if you don't know what the druid is kind of a daring kind of class style ship british with just focusing on two guns up in front that really do great pen kind of like a mini mini minotaur and no torpedoes and like, look where I'm, I'm actually positioning right here i'm positioning in this corner right on the holding my post holding this corner and you notice right there i caught somebody in the open uh, i saw the smoke and I'm waiting for his smoke to go out and boom i pop him right away and, and eliminate that destroyer or it's not kind of <laughs> not a destroyer it's a mini cruiser if you will and now i'm just holding this flame because look the, the whole mode of this is this uh, airship convoy and i follow the line and go where is this intersection point got to be where i know the enemy has got to come down here and then it makes these wonderful situations where i have to figure out where is a good position to hold a flank at and then capitalize on that moment because i know the enemy has to go through there and that's why it's so fun because now it's not just random random like you know in randoms but i actually have a predictable spot where i can figure out plan out get in position and use a use that literally skill aiming positioning and using your consumables all at once so that you can capitalize on these modes so right here we're going to see if we can creep up a little bit yeah, we're going to fire that guy. Okay, here, here's where it's fun right here. So now I know the ships have to come through here in order to capitalize uh, on the airship. Because, again, you have to stay in this airship circle for it to continuous, continuously move. Or you, as a uh, defending person, you can actually sit in their airship, uh, uh, I guess you could say perimeter circle, and you can stop and halt their progression. It's really, really fun, and it opens up a lot of strategy. It opens up a lot of gameplay. It's really interesting. Here is the Kearsad right here. And we are going to just basically capitalize on his full broadside. And look, we can literally just sit around the corner. I love using the Druid in this way where basically I can use island cover. I can mitigate damage. Look, he's firing. I can juke. I can do all t types of things to mitigate my damage and allow myself to employ my weapon system in the best possible fashion. And right now we're just popping in and popping out, making sure that we have... Uh, you know, clear tactical advantage, and we're going to sit here and hold. Look, we're slowing there. You can see airships slowing down. So that means I'm holding our position, and they're holding their ship down, but I'm also accelerating our ship at the same time. So I'm that's why I'm getting all these awards and, and damage, and it's really, really powerful, really strong, especially in the Druid. Essentially, we're like a mini gunboat machine gun holding the corner kind of thing. And just look at, we're taking the Vladivostok on here. And again, don't, don't underestimate the power of the Druid, especially if you have support. 
Uh, and then, of course, these smokes, I'm permahydrote, so I didn't realize that, and uh, popping smoke wouldn't have done anything anyways. But hopefully someone kills the hydro that from the GK on my, off my right, but we're not going to sit around and do nothing. We're going to go here and mitigate and take as much damage as possible. Meanwhile, also firing back and dishing out hate as well. Vladivostok, 40,000 HP, but he's getting attacked by two other ships, and this is why it's so fun, because now you actually have people supporting you know pushes you have people supporting your advances you have people supporting seeing that hey you're in danger you're you need help so really really awesome i like the fact that people are now pushing and actually moving forward and although there are carriers in this i really wish there were no carriers or stuff in this because that doesn't reward the gameplay for that at all because this is more focused on ship gameplay if you want to play carrier subs go play randoms right anyways here we go nose of the gk uh sticking out front now look at the kind of damage we can do like i said i taught you uh druid those guns in front really just do pain, and you just got to shoot the bow of the ship, which is one of the weakest points of the ship, and you're just melting the GK right there, and he goes down. Vladivostok also goes down with the Prussian. Thank you very much for helping us out, and now we're just going to sit here, pop smoke, and just farm a GK to death. Again, this is one of the soothing moments of World of Warships where I'm just sitting here looking at a battleship and just working it up and down, trying to find little soft spots here and there, and the power of the Druid, especially with improved AP angles, and even if you build for heavy AP, you can do so, so much damage, and it's literally just a ticking time bomb going down, 726, 726 going on. You think it's not killing you, but at over long periods of time, you get that compound interest, and boom, there it is. Splash 2 goes down, 93,000 damage right there, taking him out, and that is how that battle ends. We end up winning this match, and I'll show you another video of uh, what the power of the Druid can do, and uh, even any kind of ships like Vampire or any kind of other destroyer players uh, that focus on DPM really, really can do a significant workload on these ships. Okay, so here's another mode with the Druid, and this time this is Arms Race, um, as you see in the back or the footage here. Um, basically, the spot, the little power ups, or um, I guess you could say, <clears throat> what, what is it called? Um, Bill. Uh, Ah, oh, man, what is it called? Is there, I just call them power-ups. Uh, basically, arms race, and you just capture these points. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. And you capture these points that literally power up your ship. Yeah, I'll call them power-ups, I guess. And, and they increase the ability of your ship and all ships, your team players and so forth, and they uh, give you uh, better abilities, whether it be healing, faster reload, more damage, and yada, yada, so forth. And it, this is also fun, more in the late game, because at the beginning, it's gonna, again, it starts off kind of like randoms, where people just start off and whatever kill everybody and right off, right off the bat look at this we're engaging and I actually enjoy this a destroyer is actually pushing up and engaging but unfortunately when you're picking a fight with a druid it is very very difficult to uh you know do anything against a druid uh especially when you just got to sit um if you have to turn you're going to show full broadside and literally i'm just going to blind fire you right there and boom he goes down now the, the counter that that the first thing is to be you know obviously slamming on the brakes nose in smoke up real fast and stop firing and that way you mitigate the damage right there, and then you can exit the smoke screen because the druid's concealment is very bad. It's six and a half, so or six point six ish. So you, if you outspot the druid, I mean, you either can just run away, perma spot, and force him to use uh, like right this situation right here, um, outspot him, and then of course use your uh, smoke, run away, or and then let the druid get caught in smoke or radar. And that's how you kind of counter that. Uh, unfortunately, if you're just nose, if you're running away like this full broadside, the druid is just gonna melt so much damage from you right off, just just egressing the area. It is almost not worth the trade, so you got to really just get out of there, get out of dodge, don't pick a fight, and that, that's kind of how I would play against a Druid. Um, I normally don't pick fights against a Druid because I know the power of what it can do in the hands of a good Druid player, and uh, yeah, it's devastating. But the fact that this mode, uh, actually, people are actually pushing forward and trying to get those cap points or trying to get those power-ups and actually getting in a position, and then later in the game, the center of the map, there's a, an area uh, that actually pops up where everybody has to capture that one point. So I do still like Arms Race because it does focus on you know you trying to capture and hold an objective and it forces brawling situations where i do do really really enjoy and again i, I work game you got to bring this mode and make it permanent it is really really fun and awesome a lot of good coordination right here i'm actually getting great teams actually in this mode i mean this venom right here smoking me up giving me cover to fire and good communication i mean wow this this mode is actually incredibly uh i would say uh friendly where people are actually working together trying to solve objectives and trying to get things done and uh, yeah, yeah, this is awesome. So right here, we got the Schlieffen uh, popping out right here, and he is running away because, unfortunately, none of his team was pushing. Uh, again, this also can punish you if you're not pushing as well. Uh, if you just let one of your teammates out to die, hang him out to dry, and really, he's just going to get farmed to death. And uh, again, that's why it encourages you to push. If you do push with your team, it is more you're more likely to actually have more uh, coordinated, focused fire, and you can actually help your teammates survive a little bit longer. Uh, and then it's actually 
for you, you'll get something out of it. You'll be in, in, enjoying the game. Now, right here, full broadside Yamato. Really, really uh, awesome for the Drew here. We're just going to penetrate a lot of his side armor right there and get a lot, a lot of damage. You're going to notice in this game, we're going to rack up a lot, a lot of damage, a lot of kills. And I, I like this. I mean, I don't know what my Wisconsin in the back is doing, just sitting in the back hiding away. Again, I don't encourage that kind of gameplay. That's the whole purpose of this mode is to go in and brawl, right? Go in and engage. Go in and support your destroyers. Go in and support your cruisers. And right here, at least Yamato, I applaud you. You're at least pushing and using your ship to be a punching bag because why? You're supposed to do that as a battleship. You're supposed to take damage and hits and then dish out damage as well while you have cruisers supporting you with high uh, reload and high firepower and DPM while the, the destroyers are out there pushing up front. And then again, that's what's really fun about this. And then you get something out of it. So right here, we're going to punish the uh, motto as much as we can. Notice, even when we're dishing out damage, he can survive a lot of it. And uh, again, as long as he has support, uh, he would be able to dish it out even longer. Look, we're getting increased reload speeds. Again, I like arms race for that this this aspect of it, where you're getting a lot, a lot of power-ups and increased abilities of your ship that you normally would not get in random. So again, encourage you push up and get those power-ups. So I like that a lot. Yamato goes down from our Ohio, and now, again, we still have to deal with a lot of other ships in this area. Drew, it can hold a, an entire flank if it uh, was played properly. And you got you see most of my team is falling back to the center right there because we know in about 2 minutes and 24 seconds that center point is going to appear. So right now, we're gonna, we've are gonna got RPF showing that where the closest target is, which is the Shikashima, which also is a fun sh um, secondary build if you want to do for that. It's got big, big guns. Uh, and you can use those to overpin almost a lot of things out there. And here we go. We got the Nottingham with full broadside. Again, we do dish a lot of damage out on a uh, broadside cruiser. So we're going to go ahead and try to capitalize as much as we can right here, seeing we can get these full pins. And again, very, very awesome firepower we can hold. Now he's firing at us. We'll slam on the brakes, dodge it. Ooh, so, oh my goodness, Shikishima took a shot at us, taking 4,000 damage. I mean, power of Shikishima's guns are very, very devastating, so be careful when you do that. Of course, they overpin us, but they, not after doing a lot, a lot of damage. All right, we're getting a lot of these power-ups. Okay? It's very crucial that you as a destroyer player go out there and get those power-ups for your team because it does help your team out a lot, and I like that. The fact that you're able to help your team in, in other ways besides capping and shooting, you can get power-ups, you can spot, you can cap. Again, I've always said the destroyer player is the crucial component of the game. Again, we're still maintaining the front and spotting for Ohio and Wisconsin in the back. Again, I don't encourage that all the time sitting in the back, but again, we're we're doing that's why I like playing destroyer players because you're up front in, in the heat of in the thick of things and you're out there trying to encourage your team to push and shoot. Meanwhile, we're shooting at this nodding armor now. I hope he actually starts turning broadside and we can capitalize with our guns doing that. And he is taking a lot of torpedo hits from the Benham. Benham is another machine gun torpedo. Oh my goodness, look at that. Benham taking out a lot, a lot of damage right there. Dishing out machine gun torpedoes while we're the machine gun AP uh, killer, hunter killer right here. And look at that Shikishima. He's at 35,000 dam health points. Now watch how much damage we tick down off of him. Look at that. 1400 sometimes 700 and we are just gonna rack up the damage right here holding down the left mouse button and throwing out the hate and look at that oh he went from 35,000 damage and let's see if we can get him down to 20 yeah something soothing and therapeutic about this oh dang he took a major hit right there not while we're still pushing out a lot of damage and let's see if we can push in with our uh crew or sorry destroyer through the cap here we'll take off this hell this uh power up right here and here's the haraguma and there's a guy that was uh uh, hurting our team earlier. So let's see if we can get the Haraguma that we dished out a little bit of damage before. Now, I notice I got a Hydro up. You got to creep up on him. I bet you his guns are facing us. So I know where he's at. Got the guns facing in the correct moment. And there he is. And we're just going to aim at his kind of center section right there, taking 2200s. No way that Haraguma can survive this. Even if he pushes forward, smokes up, don't worry. There it is, splash two, taking out a Haraguma to help out our team in our band. 112,000 damage in the first 10 minutes of the game. And we're also taking 463,000 potential damage as well, noticing that we are drawing fire to help out our team. We have a Janan, which is kind of uh, like a light cruiser that has a lot, a lot of H, or sorry, HE damage. So we do not want to face this guy one on one. He takes out our here, split, so we're going to have to sit here and smoke up and hopefully continuously spot him. Unfortunately, we are the only person spotting him, so we, we smoked up. He goes undetected. So hopefully the Prussian behind, to my left will spot him for us because he's a big hunking target. And unfortunately, that smoke screen in front of us is also providing cover for the Janan. Right here, he is blind firing. He's watching the uh, smoke indicator, and he's just kind of aiming at the center of that smoke. And again, that is a great tactic to go against a Druid. Just look at the center of the smoke. Where was I last spotted? And just fire at it, blind fire. Unfortunately, he is showing full broadside right here, which is the bread and butter of the Druid right here. Full broadside light cruiser. 
and we're just gonna melt him to death. Even if he goes undetected, we're gonna keep firing into the blind fire. Notice I'm gonna pretend like he's still there. Where's his guns out? They're moving to the right, aim a little high, and boom, splash three, 129,000. And that is how we eliminate Light Destroyer. Now, we, our RPF low is locating something still on the left, even though Schlieffen's to our right, which means there's something still there. I see deep water torpedoes, and that was probably for the Janan, and ooh, another set of torpedoes, so, and I'm spotted. That's interesting. What else is left? There's a destroyer left, so it must be the last destroyer. So let's see how we uh, uh, t attack this situation right here. Again, I love these modes where they're forcing you to go in, push in, brawl, and encourages everybody to do it. And it opens up these really great dynamic situations. So very, very fun. And I encourage you guys to play. It is really, really awesome. We're going to keep it. Okay, Johnson. Oh, we just did a review on the Johnson. Johnson, very, very powerful ship. Unfortunately, I don't think your sap shell is going to do much. And again, say nose and druid. Uh, yeah, smart move right there. Just go ahead and smoke up and egress the area, and that's all you can really do. He's got that burst fire right there for the HE. Now, he sleeping goes down, so he has nobody to spot for him, so downside right there. Now, all we can do is we use our hydro and go in and spot. Uh, our hydro can detect shits out to three, so as soon as three kilometers is in, we go ahead and fire, and we'll eliminate the Johnston as well right there. So I already know where he's at. Be mindful of the torpedoes. Johnson has torpedoes, but they're high reload, so... Hopefully they are not on reload or cooldown. And here we go, Johnston. We're going to get him full broadside, and he just cannot absorb that much damage. And boom, he goes down. Splash 4, 141,000 damage right there. So, so powerful. So much fun. And, of course, we don't need to cap this. We already kind of won this thing. Oh, we almost are. I'm sorry. I guess up there is the backwards. So we had 610 to their uh, 50 points. But, uh, yeah, the replay system is backwards. So they need to fix that. And Yamato is pretty much dead to the Benham. Oh, man, me and the Benham were just wrecking shop um, machine gun torpedo uh, crew and uh, the AP damage on there. Look, And here's the other benefit, 1.6 mil. Of course, this is with modifiers, of course. But, man, you are pumping out credits, pumping out XP, XP. This is a literally almost like asymmetric battles. You are getting a lot, a lot of reward for it. Number one in the team right there. And we just did so, so much uh, damage right there. 466 shells. 441,000 damage, and we were taking out, let's see, Harry Grimma. We took out the split, took out the Johnson, taking out three destroyers and the light crews, of course. And we are doing a lot of credit building right there. Awesome, awesome. Even building up XP for your commander if you got the modifiers for that. So, so, so awesome. Definitely recommend. Build will be at the end of the screen for the Drew if you guys want to watch it. Let me know in your comments below. What do you think of the new mode, of uh, the alternative um, mode shuffle? That's what they call it, Sleeping Giant. Pretty, pretty darn awesome. I really enjoy it. Let me know what your thoughts are, what we can do to get better. As always, thank you guys so much for helping to build the community. As always, if you see me out there, say hi. And as always, be safe, and we'll see you soon. Take care. Cheers.